how to talk to INTJs without looking dumb. The first thing you need to know about INTJs is that among the 16 personality types of the MBTI, they come out as a know-it-all and often appear confident and cocky. So the very first thing you need to do when talking to an INTJ is to be fast and straight to the point. INTJs hate when you blab around. It's off-putting because they see you as not knowing what you're saying or trying to cook up lies. So when you're talking to an INTJ, summarize whatever you want to say and say it as fast as you can and straight to the point. And don't expect the INTJ to respond to you with the same speed. No. The INTJ is going to adjust his talking speed according to your level of understanding. The second point is talk about things you fully understand and ask questions about those things you don't understand. Because as you're talking to the INTJ, what he does is he's constantly scanning the information that is coming out from you, trying to understand if you understand the subject world and your weaknesses about the subject matter to know how to talk about it with you. And if you don't know what you're saying, you will appear dumb to the INTJ. So to be on the safe side, ask what you don't know and talk about what you fully understand with the INTJ. The next is never argue with an INTJ because you will never win. INTJs have a vast knowledge about things. And because of their abilities to recognize patterns, their intuition and deductive reasoning, they would feed you by all means possible. Even if that INTJ is not versed with what you are discussing, you will use only your points coupled with his ability to think and bring out points that will beat you. And if he can't, he will make sure that he wins that argument by hook or by crook. The next thing is don't be too emotional when talking to an INTJ because you will appear weak and boring. And besides, the INTJ has a hard time understanding emotions. Next, don't exaggerate your facts and don't get excited over little things when talking with an INTJ. When you get excited about little things to so an INTJ, that seems as flattery or insincerity on your own part. And a bonus tip when talking to an INTJ, make sure to state the truth as it is. No matter how bad it seems, they will cope with the truth because what they see is to see the meaning of what you're saying and not the emotional effect of it. So don't lie to the kings and queens of the truth. If you can do all this I've mentioned in this video, then you'll be on good terms with the INTJ and you'll appear very knowledgeable and intelligent with them. Thank you for watching.